Good morning, it is Monday. Aren't they coming around fucking fast at the moment? <laughs> I'm knackered today, absolutely knackered. So not only did the car break down last night at High Barnet, but once the AA had been out and jump started it, because I left the lights on, but we won't talk about that. We stopped off at the services to get a coffee because I was tired. Turned on my maps, I turned the directions off and I like, muted them and then forgot to unmute them <laughs> on the way home. And I knew my way home, but Andy and I started doing a quiz on the way home <laughs> to try and keep me like alert. And I just missed the turning for Newark. <laughs> so I drove to Doncaster. So we got home two hours later than planned last night. Andy had a pizza. I couldn't be asked to make my last meal of the day. So I just ate 80 grams of chicken on, on its own. Stunning. Yesterday was amazing watching Jess. She absolutely smashed it. She set a PB for obviously her half marathon, which she hadn't done before. She set a PB for her 10K and a PB for her 5K. Honestly. I always find it really, really interesting and really inspiring watching people excel at things that I just couldn't be fucking asked to do. I couldn't. I'm not a runner. I'm cardio fit for the Stairmaster. But when it comes to like the mechanics of running, mucho respect. So I was absolutely knackered and felt like dog shit when I woke up today. But I still went and smashed out one hell of an upper session. The shoulder pumps were great. The gym was playing Barbie girl. So good and bad. But yeah, it was a really good session. I'm now home working. My boss is not in this week, so I shouldn't get any random phone calls asking me questions, which means I can just crack on. So it's going to be lovely, lovely week. We should have been seeing friends this weekend. They are heavily pregnant and renovating a house at the same time. So they have actually cancelled on us. And as much as I would have loved to have seen my best friends, thank you. I'm at that stage of wedding planning at the moment where people cancel plans and I go, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not sorry, thank you. That's actually really helpful. Should be having a lot of deliveries this week of vintage bits for the hen. And I'm getting really excited about the hen. Seeing my best friends yesterday, maybe very, very excited very excited they've been so up against it planning this hen because everyone got pregnant <laughs> and decided that they can't they can't hen and be pregnant <laughs> so numbers have dwindled which means budget has dwindled it's not all about the money but when you're planning something like that to some extent it is for the people planning it so they have been up against it but they're all really like excited of what they've managed to pull off given the circumstances and challenges that they've had. And I'm really excited. And actually, in, I've, I've asked very few questions about it because I want it to be a surprise. And because I just don't feel like I need to. I've asked a couple of bits about clarification on what casual means and how casual it's got to be. Casual comfy. Casual comfy could mean I haven't got a bra on, I'm just sat in my in my pyjamas, or does it mean slightly fitted jumpsuit, maybe trainers? What, what, what does it mean? These are the questions that I've had. And around, because it's starting in Lincoln, is there anyone staying in my house? I think in, in terms of questions that I've asked, they've been sensible, but they've not been about the actual hen at all because I don't want to know what I'm doing. And I'm actually, for the first time in my life, really comfortable not knowing because I am a control freak. I am and that's okay. It's okay. Sometimes it's a good thing. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. And then another and then another 
it's been a day of deliveries at this house. Intrigued by these, I'll be honest. Bought a pair for wedding day, bought a pair for hen dresses. I've already got a pair upstairs, so that'll be more than enough. But yeah, I wanna see what all the fuss is about. Gotta be good, right? Good afternoon. It's not even morning anymore. That's how deep we are into business continuity awareness week planning. Wow. So it's Tuesday. I trained quads and delts this morning. Decent session. There is nothing like, like watching a show and watching the outcomes of a show on a Sunday to get you fired up for training sessions at the start of a new week. And so it's the PCA Saxon Classic on Sunday. It, there was also a two bros show, I think, on Saturday. And yeah, it was it's really, really good for firing up your training sessions. Uh, not that they necessarily need it, but feeling feeling pretty good about what I managed to get done this morning. Very pleased that we've got a rest day tomorrow. Again, I feel like that's the theme week on week at the minute. But I've just been working away. I haven't done a whole lot else today. I've got a client consult later at seven. So I am gonna try and get out a little bit earlier from work today because I have been, I, I finished late yesterday and I'd like to be able to get this client consult done this evening, get my steps done and then try on some of these packages because there's so much stuff there. I also need to work at getting it returned, the stuff that I don't want. So that will be a really good achievement for me tonight. But got half an hour's cardio done as well, which means how much have I got left to do? 40 minutes, I think still. 40 minutes Wednesday. And that's all done for the week, which feels good. I feel on top of everything, which is nice. It's five o'clock, so I thought I'd start attacking the mountain of orders that I've got here waiting for me for the hen. This is a little vintage number that I've just opened and I'm already in such a good mood with myself. I'm so pleased. This cost me £10, it's still got tags on. And it's from Zara. And it's just to go over the dress that I've bought for what will either be the Friday or Saturday evening. But <laughs> I'm so good at vintage. It's like a game and I'm like, I'm the best. <laughs> now I just need to tackle this. The lighting in here is so terrible, I'm so sorry, but the first thing that I've picked up out of this ASOS bag is this Topshop shoulder bag, which I thought would be good for like, whatever I'm doing in the daytime on Saturday, I need to, I need to be less bougie than whatever I've bought on the Saramar. And I thought that if the Saramar order is shit, this one could bypass both it's very spongy which makes me feel good it is more cream than white though i'm playing a dangerous game with the white stuff anyway i think but i don't know what i'm doing still so it is what it is but we'll see on that one because i definitely thought it was more white than cream seeing as it's called Topshop white quilted bag. Do you know what I mean? Fucking ASOS. I will warn you now, practically this entire order, chaos, is, it's practically all combat trousers and nice top. So I'm thinking, they said comfy casual, so I'm thinking I could still move in a pair of combat trousers, but still zhuzh it up with like a nice top. And a lot of them are corset tops, which I've always wanted to try, but not had. And I mean, if you're gonna do it, why not now? These are some Bershka ones and they are actually white. Whereas a lot of this stuff looks very creamy and they're okay. Nothing special. At least they're not see-through, which is what annoyed me so much about the six-story stuff, which I still need to fucking return. Oh, that's another job for tonight. Another pair of Bershka cargoes. These are a lot thicker 
than those. These are, oh, I'd say these are more like utility trousers. Oh, part of me is like, yeah, go on, nice shape on you, but the other part of me is like, are you going to work? <laughs> Don't look for it. And these, these are the 12, so absolutely no chance of getting in a 10, I don't think. I think we're starting to get somewhere, maybe. So these are the Bershka trousers from the ASOS order. Again, I wish they were white, but they're not. But they're far nicer than the other ones that came in the ASOS order. And then this is like a little corset top from PLT. I don't hate it. I don't hate it and I actually feel secure like although I've got like no bra on or anything I feel like I could get away with wearing this and it not just like no titty flop out or anything maybe it's always a little <laughs> we'll see what some of the PLT trousers come out like but I'm not getting good vibes immediately from the colors because I mean this is a top but this looks green so much of this is coming out of the bag and going straight back in the bag already, which is a bit annoying, but that's why we can't. Hmm. Just finished my client consult. It went really well. She's so nice. And do you know what? I was really curious because I haven't been putting out any client results or anything. And that is pretty tactical that at the moment, I don't want to take on more than I can handle and manage without compromising on service and stuff. So I haven't taken on any new clients for a while. And I was curious, I was like, where did you find me? Because I explained, you know, wedding wise, I don't want to compromise on quality and stuff. And she was like, oh, I saw an Instagram story. I know which Instagram story that was because my client Sophie tagged me in like her progress and a meal that she was having because I've not been pushing social media stuff i knew exactly which one it was one instagram post a story in fact so it's there for like 30 seconds just shows the power of social media and stuff so if your friend's got a small business share the shit out of it because you just never know who might be watching just don't share mine because i can't take any more thank you bye good morning it's about 10 to 9 on wednesday just arrived at the office <laughs> I've been really curious as to how the extra food has been impacting me this week. My digestion isn't all there. <laughs> I think the extra food, I feel quite full from the extra food, particularly on an off plan meal day. Something that I'm going to discuss with Amy, whether we go for taking more meals out and having more volume, like more calorie volume in the off plan meal just so that I can be strict with it. Cause I'm very mindful that over the next few weeks, it's kind of crucial that I put a little bit more weight on, but not in a messy way. <laughs> and in a way that I still really love how I look, but I'm actually dropping weight at the moment. <laughs> I'm dropping weight. I think this week's check-in will see me have either a little bit more food or more calories in the off plan meal. But that is my update for this morning. I've just been, I've been really curious as to how my body reacts to the extra food and it is soaking it up. And I think I'm down a kilo on last week, roughly, today anyway. So we shall see. 40 minutes cardio to do, I think, tonight on the way home. I need to double check that because obviously it's come down, but I can't remember exactly how much I've done. Dealing with a few things wedding related, still can't find this suit. <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting all the time. People keep asking me how I'm getting on, how I'm feeling, are you stressed? And I'm like, I think I've been in a constant state of stress or some stress since last October, just because I feel like I'm fighting for so many different things at the minute. If it's not my honeymoon, it suits. Ah, uh, just little things going wrong all the time. But I suppose this is the reality of other people doing things for you rather than it being in your control. I think I said either in the, earlier in this vlog or last week, I don't mind if I fuck something up because that's my fault and I can be in control and deal with it. But when other people are fucking stuff up, oh, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. And I knew 
I knew when we were in the store and the lady was serving us that something was going to happen because she just wasn't all that. And I thought, no, it's sensible to get the suit delivered to the store that Aaron is nearest. He can pick it up so that he can look at shoes for it. When my gut was telling me, have it delivered to the house, he knows what colour, he knows what style he wants. Or order it online yourself and have it delivered to your house or my store so that I could collect it. But I didn't. <laughs> Trust your gut. We are back in the car. I did not pick up the camera again yesterday. When I got home, I was doing boring shit. I did my cardio. I did my remaining steps. I picked up a couple of parcels from Vinted, which I still haven't opened, which is really shit because I can't feed back on them yet. And then I did a little bit of client work, sent over a few different meal options for one of them got confirmation that the lady that I spoke to the other day is signing up which is brilliant so I've got a lot of client work to do at the weekend for onboarding but yeah that was my evening so it's Thursday now I did my check-in this morning as you can see I've sent everything over to Amy and she hasn't fed back yet other than to say make these visuals heart eyes emoji so she must be pretty pleased and to be fair I am I'm looking at them and I'm looking at my delts particularly because we all know I, f I feel very passionately about delts and I'm going to try not to moan about them so much because I can see that they are capping. I can see that they are capping. By the way, this is good. Just in time for my makeup trial this weekend. That's something that I'm looking forward to. Sunday, I've got my first makeup trial. Plans for the weekend so far are Wedmin. Sort my seating plan out. It's something that I intended to do last week. I still got loads of Wedmin done, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. I am going to attempt it tonight, you know. I don't think it's going to be that hard. I haven't got as many people coming as I thought. So I the the core 20 people that are close friends, family, bride's party, groom's party. There's only like 30 more, 35 more people to sort out after that. Piece of piss. And like I'm going to really enjoy pairing people up that I know will have a really good conversation. It'll be fun. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that bad. We'll see. But so that is my plan for this evening. I'm going to await more feedback from Amy because mate these visuals, heart eyes, uh, doesn't tell me a lot about how she's going to progress me over the next uh, week or so or any changes she's going to make. <laughs> But I'm looking forward to seeing what that feedback is because it sounds like it's going to be positive. But I'm at work now. I'm back in the office. I am going to try and leave a little bit earlier today because I left a little bit later last night. Standard me. I just get stuck into stuff. But I've had another quiet client inquiry overnight. I don't know where these people are coming from, but I'm vibing. So it's good. I just don't want to take on more than I can handle at the moment. I think that's really important because over the next few weeks with my hen coming up and the wedding being on a Thursday I am going to have to chop and change like when people check in and I don't want that to be the first impression that a new client gets because it's not something that I do very often but yeah so I'm feeling I'm feeling on top of things at the moment and it's very rare that I have a weekend which is spent changing loads of different aspects of any plans because they're not bodybuilding clients. They don't need rapid changes like that. So yeah, it's good. Feel good. Looking forward to more feedback from Amy. 
I'm getting some messages through as we speak. So it's also rest day again. So just steps for me today. I'm going to give myself a little break from the cardio and I'll get some in tomorrow and at the weekend, which will start the weekend off right. Very, very quick one on my check-in because I haven't just picked up the camera and didn't talk about it. I've dropped a kilo this week. <laughs> She's upped my food, reduced my cardio. I'd be lying if I said that I haven't had like a Lindor every day this week from my Easter egg or a little bit of Easter egg, which I, in my check-in, very honest and just said, look, I accept the consequences. If you, if you tell me to fucking stop it, I'll stop it. But it's been, it's been controlled. I had one truffle a day or a little bit of egg and my weight has dropped by a kilo. And she's like, what? Just out getting some extra steps in after work. I'm back home now. My eyes won't stop fucking streaming when the wind blows. Can you remember when I was doing my own lashes? We won't talk about why I stopped doing my own lashes. But I kept getting that in the summer, like the wind would blow, my eyes would stream, and that'd be the end of some of my lashes. And I thought, Maybe I need a sensitive glue and my lashes are the problem. I ain't got any makeup on today. And they are going, they are streaming. Maybe the lashes will make a come. Do we risk that, do they? Well, probably not. Feedback from my check-in. Amy is over the moon. Amy's over the moon. She's like, how have we given you more food, less cardio, and you've dropped nearly a kilo? Don't know, mate, but... Here we are. So the changes are, my cardio has dropped by 25 minutes. So I'm now down to 125 a week, which is lush. Can get that done, easy peasy. And then on a training day, I've got 200 free calories, lovely. On a rest day, I've got 300. So very pleased with those little updates. In terms of how I want to look for the wedding, I don't want to push it really high. I know that we can't in the time that we've got, but if I reflect back on how I felt at my first fitting and how I looked in my dress, I would prefer to look on the side of what I do now than what I did then. Like I looked nice in my dress, obviously, and I love it. It does lend to having a bit of a curve to it, but I don't want too much. Yeah, tough job on Amy's hands, but here we are, she's the gal to do it. So that is the update from today. I'm quite happy with how I look. It's so amazing how different you feel having a little bit more food in. I was running flat the week before when I was like, ill. Now that I've got a little bit more carbs and I'm looking so much fuller, fucking hell makes all the difference. And that's why you most certainly need a coach for prep because I am no way near stage lean and already I was looking at that thinking, oh, you know, not looking all that great, but with a pump in and looking full, it's all the difference. So I think I've got about 5,000 steps to do total. This would have been about three around the block, three and a half. And then I need to sort out all my fucking returns, wash my hair because it's disgusting, and then maybe start the seating plan. It's going to get done this weekend one way or another, I'll have all my check-ins to do tomorrow, and I've got a client set up to do this weekend, so I want to dedicate my time at the weekend to that if I can. Good morning from someone who has told everyone that they're having camera difficulties and connection difficulties. Uh, so I can't have my camera on, really. I'm just trying out my heated rollers with having a little bit of the Colour Wow product in. So it's Friday. All I got around to last night was returning an order, washing my hair <laughs> and what else did I do? I did make a start on the seating plan. And I don't, do you know what? I think it's kind of there. Can't be that easy, can it? I'm sure I'll change it like three times. But, oh, another update after that snort. That was not me. 
We've got a house guest this weekend. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. So he's just snorting away and snoring behind me. But somebody was it M. I think M commented on my last video asking me how I was getting on with the Color Wild products. And I'll be honest, I haven't used them much with the Shark. I've kind of given up styling with the Shark whilst my hair is this heavy and whilst it's got very few layers in. I've been growing all my layers out so that it's easier to get into some sort of bridal style without bits falling out everywhere and stuff and having a shit ton more pins in it. But I did put some of the blow dry kind of mousse, not the root booster, but the XXL blowout, I think it's called, in my hair last night. And then I dried it with the Revlon hot brush that I've got. So not the shark. And it did dry my hair quicker and it did hold some kind of style, but I just thought I'd put these in and see what it's like having had the Colour Wild product in it. So I'm going to take them out in a moment because they are well and true. They've been in, they've been in ages. They've been in ages. So I'm going to take them out, see what it looks like because I'm still trying to see whether I can get away with these for my hen. I think I need bigger barrels to be using these in general, but still good to know. And the bargain that they were, don't really matter. I'm going to make a hygienist appointment with the dentist this morning. And what else was I going to do this morning? There was something else, another appointment. Ah, I was going to buy tickets for a medium. <laughs> There's a medium that I really want to see coming to Lincoln. I don't know whether anyone's into that, but I am and have been, and I've seen one before and it was amazing. And I got recommended this new one. Apparently she's really, really good. And she's coming to Lincoln, but she's usually based in Norfolk. So I thought I'd uh, get some tickets to that, but that is the plan for today crack on with some work i've had all my check-ins through already everybody's looking banging and had a really good week so i'm looking forward to getting through those and then tonight i will make a start on my new starter and her plan but yeah feeling good trained glutes and hams this morning it was nasty it was nasty but i didn't do any cardio because my cardio has been cut down so i thought i'd give my body a little bit of a rest but i'll check in some we have just been out on a very long walk. It is 10 to 8. I am two meals behind, which is great. Just finished all my check-ins. Girls are doing wicked. There's a couple of changes that I need to make. And then I'm going to start onboarding Carly. She's just coming back to me with a few different bits of equipment that she's got at home. And then we're going to start building her plan up. But I am excited for this one. Big time. Big time. I think there's some good progress that can be made. But... I've just made all of this and you know what I've just made a huge whoopsie I've had this this week and picked up I thought this tasted nicer than it should do um, so I've just had to have the skewer which if you know me you know I hate that but needs must that's that's what I've just had to have Ugh. some of us enjoyed our walk more than others Ain't that true? Hmm? Good morning, it's Saturday and look how grumpy Dexter is because we're going out. You can tell we're going to the gym. So he's fuming. What's up, buddy? No, he's not having it.
I have trained pulling hands, which is really good. I am absolutely spent from it. It was one of the best sessions I've had for a while, but about halfway through, I started to really fucking flag. My back, I was, I was checking my form in between sets and looked at that um, chest supported row and lost my fucking mind. I can't believe that's my back. Honestly, some days it's so worth 
filming yourself in the gym not just for the sake of like checking your form and stuff but you're like oh okay yeah, I look all right so I made up with that today's off plan meal day where I've also got to get in my free calories and I couldn't fucking stomach another meal so I had a uh, a large oat shake here an espresso uh, which was about 165 calories so not quite my 200 on a training day but whatever I can't liquid cows I think is how it's gonna be because I've got to try and get a couple more meals in today before I have my off plan meal tonight I can't believe I'm complaining about it but the volume I'd rather just save up some meals and bank them and just go up the pig pig out because I can't hack it at the minute I suppose I am reversing and it is that little bit harder when your stomach is used to not a lot of food even though it was still pretty reasonable. Yeah, I'm just making no sense, but I've just showered post gym, had a meal, had my wrap, and I've just dermaplaned my whole face and put my hair in some socks because I'm going to try and make sure that my skin is in the best possible position tomorrow for my makeup application. I don't know why. I've got the fear that I'm not going to like it. I don't know where that's come from, but I put my hair in socks so that I can do something with my hair tomorrow so that it looks a little bit more bridal, even though it's not accurate. And I'm just going to have to see. I'm just going to have to see. But I'm going to tan tonight as well so that anything that she's using she can get like the closest match and and then the shades of like eyeshadows or something that she might use bronzers blushes she'll know because i'll be using the same tan i don't know i feel like i'm probably overthinking this but would it really be me if i didn't just finished doing client work and all tracked to fit in with my 1200 calories. The excitement is real, really real. Good morning, it's Sunday. I've got crazy sock hair and I tanned last night. I'll probably get told off because I'm pretty sure you shouldn't put tan on your face, but I thought I'd rather be told off for doing it than not doing it and then getting some kind of silly result that neither of us are happy with. I've just popped to Heartstone Park, which is around the corner from Haley's house where I'm having my bridal trial. And yeah, I just thought I'd get some steps in. And use a fucking bathroom, if you know what I mean. I love it. No problems. I do like it. I'm going to go less of a wing and more of a buff out. And maybe slightly less blush on the side but yeah I think she smashed it it's so weird having someone else do your eyebrows felt a little bit uncomfortable but also she knows her shit just keeping an eye on how this wears throughout the day <laughs> I've messaged her and said about the blush I've also mentioned going for like a slightly thicker lash uh, I have had a couple of bits of food as well and the lipstick isn't holding up too bad at all but anyway we're at mum's now. I've just been doing a little bit of Wedmin. I'm making up my bathroom baskets <laughs> for the girls and the boys. And then I've got a load of these for my wedding day bag and mum's wedding day bag, just in case dad starts having a hypo. <laughs> just diabetes things. And yeah, so that is my, my plan for the rest of the day is Wedmin, Andy's out doing the blackboard again. I am paying people and sorting out our wedding favours. We're doing something different. I've not seen it at any other wedding, but I have seen it on TikTok. So everyone has one of these on their table and the, on their place setting. And we're going to have a big magnum of champagne with a big lock around it and one of the keys will open the lock and then that person like wins the champagne. It's just a little bit of fun. It's also slightly more cost effective. I wouldn't say by loads, but 
just something that I saw and was like, that's different. I've not seen that before because how many times do you go to a wedding you, and people spend a lot of money on these little knick-knacky things and you either lose them or you don't take them home and, you know, they can get a bit wasted. So that's that was my thought process behind that. But I am going to sit down, start making some payments, buy Aaron's soup for the second time and then finish up the keys. I'm just getting the last of the Sunday steps in before curling up on the sofa. I think my makeup has lasted quite well. For me, that is not an oily forehead, which is all I really hoped for. I haven't topped up the lipstick at all because I don't have it. I've ordered it though. Oh, this afternoon's been expensive. I've ordered all of the like top up products from what Haley's used to my face today. I've ordered Aaron's suit again and I've paid for our cake. And this is where all of the money starts falling out of me like a curry. <laughs> ah, but feeling good and heading into the week feeling more refreshed than I have the last few weeks because we haven't done a lot. It feels good. More of those weekends, please. Hopefully next weekend's another one for all the crazy things of my hen. Hopefully.